So welcome to this video here at Debaco University looking at forensics entomology. So how do insects relate to forensics and in their involvement within crime scenes, even though they're probably not the ones committing the crime? So entomology in general, what is that referring to? Well, the in entomology is the study of insects in relationship to humans, environment, and other organisms. Entomologists make great contributors to such uh, diverse fields, such as agriculture, looking at crop loss or potential pests, chemistry, biology, human and, and animal health, molecular sciences, criminology, and the focus today is forensics. So insects have a a lot of contributions and a lot of potential areas of study within multiple areas within science. So why study insects? Well, insect species arrive at a corpse in waves like clockwork. So when we're looking at a crime scene, why are we looking at insects? Well, they have a very distinctive and repeatable habit. This, because of this, it provides a good estimation of the time that has passed since the uh, individual has perished. So this is a great reason why entomology or insects are such a major focus within forensics. Now this forensics entomology uh, flies and maggots also provide an approximate time of death, which is very useful in cases where the body has been long dead, where we're not necessarily uh, fresh on the scene, uh, it's happened over a period of time and discovered later, entomology can play a great role in that. Because only certain insects will feed and lay eggs on a dead corpse, and the forensics entomologists can study these insects, their larval cycles, and thereafter, and can determine whether the body has been dead for just one day or up to three or four weeks, potentially. So again, a great resource for information there. Now, entomologists aid in this uh, process, in this process of studying of the uh, persons who have passed away by identifying the insects in the various stages of their life cycle. So not only knowing what insects are there, but are they in the egg stage, the larval stage, or present as adults. By collecting and preserving insects as evidence, this can ensure proper preservation procedures and ensure that those insects are kind of, quote, frozen in time there. This can help determine the estimate of postmortem interval, or PMI, time between death and the discovery of the body, which can help provide an approximation for where further investigation should be uh, focused on. Uh, factors such as uh, insect evidence, the weather that's, uh, conditions that have occurred, the location and condition of the body are all useful as well. Uh, entomologists can also testify in court to explain insect-related evidence found in the crime scene, and as a result, they can aid by providing expert testimony. Now, insect species and time. So when we're looking at the species and the actual time that's passed by, uh, we can calculate the heat slash thermal energy, uh, which is accumulated in degree hours required for each stage of, for example, here, the green bottle flies life cycle, just one insect that can be used. Possibly the greatest potential source of error is using the arthropods successional patterns lies in the collection of the actual specimens. This is why entomologists will typically be used and focused in on this area to ensure accuracy. Uh, most only done uh, correctly to accurate, um, sample the insects. So we want to make sure we're getting a good sample, but also we're getting the correct sampling of those insects in the various life cycles that we may notice. So insects uh, typically that we'll be focusing on would be like flies or beetles. Species may also provide clues uh, and some feed on fresh corpses while others prefer ones that have been dead for a couple of weeks. So again, proper identification can really help a forensic scientist try to pinpoint uh, the time of death, which can help further investigation and allocation of resources.